What's poppin'? We are on kick. We are live. You can join us if you want. If not, that's cool. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, above me, if you missed the live, this is where you can catch any uh, highlights and things of that nature. Don't forget, we also got the Discord. Plays a big part on Kick because you can't leave links in Kick chat anymore. So you got them on Discord. And then we got the Patreon. Started a few, three new shows we started in, within the last two weeks. And then we got, you know, a little merch. You know what I'm saying? $15 is the cheapest shirt. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to be affordable over here. You know what I'm saying? Understand if you can't, but if you can, go take a look at least. Uh, link to all of that is down in the description. Let's get into this, man. British deputy head teacher paid sixty-five thousand to abuse Indian children. What is what is happening? To pay somebody to do that is crazy, and to take payment to do that is even crazier. They both want to burn. Burn, baby, burn. That's tough. Gossip Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate you joining me today, and thank you to all the new subscribers and viewers. Two of the social medias have been shadow banned in the past month due to some of the stories and the exposure of some of the cases that are going on. Nah, that's a fact. I've been shadow banned on, on, on this platform for the long time. For a long, long time. I'm, st I'm think I'm still shadow banned. None of my, n n I don't know. Well, they get like that. None of the minutes. This story especially got us uh, shadow banned on YouTube for over a week because YouTube said this was sensitive topics. So Instagram and Twitter are also shadow banned. So the only way you can follow them is by yeah, following links. Them. This first story, I covered it the other day where he was originally charged. He's now pled guilty. He's a deputy head teacher, well, a former deputy, deputy head teacher, being as he's been fired for a primary school called Thomas's in Battersea. This was attended by. The I don't get why they block these type of videos and shadow ban and do all that goofy sh like it's spreading awareness. The children of Prince William. He got a job there only a year ago after returning from spending five years in India abusing younger children. Matthew Smith, 34 years old from East Dulwich, was arrested by the National Crime Agency in November 2022 after investigators identified that he'd accessed abuse on the dark web. Smith was online at the time of his arrest See? and he was speaking to a teenage boy in India and he was asking him to send sexual images of another child in return for money. He also had dark web sites and forums open on his computer when he was arrested. He was charged the following day with five offences and these included the sexual exploitation of a child under 13 and he was remanded in custody. This is sad bro, this is real sad man. It's sad that people do this, man. NCA investigators interrogated chat logs of disgusting. financial transactions and were able to establish that Matthew Smith had paid the same teenager and another teenager in India £65,398 to abuse children over a five-year period. Smith was living in Nepal at the time and he worked at a school. Bro, so what? He was just like, I'm not there no more, so let me pay y'all to do what I was doing. What, what kind of... All there as well for the majority of his stay in the country. Prior to this, he spent various time in orphanages and NGOs across India dating back to 2007. So the extent of his abuse will maybe never be fully known because some of these children might not ever be found. And at the same time, now he's been convicted. So they may just leave it at that when in reality, every single child he's ever had contact with needs to be checked and found that they're okay. He moved back to the UK in July 2022 and began working at Thomas's Primary School in London, which is a very prestigious school. It's the Battersea one. And as I said at the beginning, was attended by the two children of William and Kate. The chat logs that the police oh, wow. revealed showed that he would direct young boys how to commit the abuse and would pay them over the course of the time that he was there. He also gave them advice on how to abuse and befriend children and to gain their trust. Officers also found 120,000 indecent images of children and Smith had them saved on his laptop. How much jail time? Laptop. 
Last month, he was charged with a further 17 counts, including encouraging the rape of a child under 13. Yo, this dude needs a death penalty. I don't even care. Put, him, put bro to sleep. Send him to America. Send him to Texas. Causing the child under 13 to engage in sexual activity and arranging the sexual abuse of a child. He appeared at Suffolk Crown Court on the 20th of June, where he pled guilty to the additional charges. He'd be sentenced on the 4th of August 20 2023. Helen Dorr, senior officer for the National Crime Agency, said Matthew Smith was a high-risk individual and he moved around locations and we had to find him and arrest him before he could no longer be a threat to children. Ultimately, we was able to prove that he's a prolific offender who manipulated young men to sexually abuse other children on his behalf. He gave them instructions. That seems so crazy to me. You're manipulating young men to do stuff on your behalf. Like, what is... Yo, yo, yo. And financial reward. Claire Brinson from the Crown Prosecution Service said, Matthew Smith's crimes are particularly disturbing given the role that he had at a primary school. He was entrusted with the responsibility of caring and safeguarding for children. Thousands of images and videos were recovered from his device and this showed the appalling catalogue of sexual abuse that he perpetrated on children. Smith offered money for the indecent images to gratify his own sexual needs and this resulted in the horrific abuse of children across India. The conviction is a clear message this evening. Didn't we do another video on this dude before or is this a different guy? He has said that they will work with their partners around the world in order to track down sexual offenders and predators. They also said there's no evidence that he abused any children while he worked. Bro, there's a different guy doing the same thing as the other guy? Y'all don't think that's why? Like, there's multiple people doing the same thing? Going to different countries and abusing kids? And, and, and like, what are we, like... This is almost making me want to throw up because I just ate. Like, this is hurlable. It's at the school in Britain. But that's the sad reality of this, is that a lot of the victims will often stay quiet. And if you ever feel that you can trust the channel with your story, always email at news at scarcitystudios.com and we'll expose anybody with the right evidence. I really look forward to hearing what viewers have to say on that story. And in some other news coming from London, a Metropolitan Police officer has been convicted of rape of a female and also a who the fuck can you trust out here like what like what's going on child on separate what has been convicted of rape of a female and also a child on separate occasions he was already currently serving time in prison for a previous rape and he appealed this conviction and he was later charged with more offences after police investigated allegations. Metropolitan Police Officer Adam Provan, 44 years old from Suffolk, was unanimously convicted of six counts of rape between 2003 and 2005 and two counts of rape against a teenage guard in 2010. The offences were all committed while he was a serving police officer in the East Area Command Unit. Adam had previously been convicted in 2018 and 2010 and jailed for nine years. He was dismissed from the Metropolitan Police in March 2019. His attempted appeal was quashed in 2022 and a retrial began at Woodgreen Crown Court. They added six more counts of rape and he was convicted and found guilty on the 19th of June. The investigating officer, Detective Sergeant Victoria James from the Specialist Crime Unit said, these are truly dreadful offences that Proven did. He abused his position of trust with both these women and I hardly need to say that Proven's behaviour fell short of- Did we not get a jail sentence on the last dude or are they still uh, like sentencing him or whatever? What we expect of police officers. The 2010 assault was brazen and calculated with clear indication that he had planned it beforehand. The second victim suffered a campaign of controlling and abusive behaviour and also sexual violence. I commend the victims for helping the police to bring him to justice. In 2010, Proven had also met a 16-year-old girl who when he met her, he said he was 22. On the first date in late August 2010, Proven took the girl to some woods and raped her. He then took her to Central Park, Harold Hill, and forced her to commit a sex act. The girl told a relative she had been raped and it was subsequently reported to the police in May 2016. Police began an investigation. This is why I don't think 16 is the right age out there. Even, I mean, it is what it is out there, but 16, man, your mind is still very impressionable. 
you don't really know what you want in life. You don't know what you really want to be doing. Like, like why would she even go with this dude? 16 and 22, to me, that sounds insane. Insane. Haitian and pro fan was arrested in June 2016. Following further inquiries, he was charged in... Like, what? Like, honestly, if you're a grown-ass man... At 21, you're a grown-ass man. I don't care what nobody say. You got... Yeah, you're still a... Like, you still got life to live. You still got experience. But at 21, what do you have in common with a 16-year-old? What possibly can y'all talk about? What is... What conversations are there to be had? There's nothing that we could even remotely have in common. There's nothing... I I got nothing for you. That's stupid, yo. Hey, hey. September 2017. Offenses against the second victim, also known to Provan, and a Metropolitan Police officer came to light during the police investigation. The court heard his behaviour towards the woman was violent, abusive and controlling, and he raped her six times. Detectives built up a case against Provan and he was interviewed before being charged in August 2022 with six counts of rape. The two matters were later joined in court. He will be sentenced on the 21st of August 2023 and I look forward to hearing what the viewers have to say on that story. And in this other story, coming from Sunderland in Tynan Ware, David Lee was caught with his trousers down while holding a seagull and watching porn. The man was caught pleasuring himself while... What? Did they just say he was caught holding a seagull? What that man was doing to that seagull? Near down while holding a seagull. Sunderland in Tynan Ware. David Lee was caught with his trousers down while holding a seagull and watching porn. The man was caught pleasuring himself while kneeling over the seagull in a bizarre sex act. The 40-year-old was caught on camera performing a sex act while watching the pornography. He admitted causing unnecessary suffering to a bird at 1am last... <laughs> hey! That's not funny. The char... Imagine going to... In front of a court of law. There's plenty of judges. There's a bailiff. There's some people in the audience. And they say... <laughs> You've been charged with one act of committing a, a actual offense against a bird. Like, what are you doing? You can't even go to the beach no more, Mr. Dude. Like, God, leave. Last August, in an alleyway in Sunderland. He drank a Dr. Pepper. That's a red flag in itself. We knew something was wrong. And the case was heard at South Tyneside Magistrates Court, where, the, where goals on the roof could be heard calling out as the bench heard evidence. Prosecutor Leslie Burgess told the court Lee chased one bird after picking up a smaller one and was caught on CCTV looking at his phone while he was holding it. He then pulled his pants up and gave the bird a little kick and he was later arrested at a nearby takeaway. He said he thought the bird was injured and he was looking at his phone to try to find a vet's number. But police checks revealed that Lee had been looking at porn sites. His defence solicitor said that he had a history of mental health and asked for a psychiatric report to be prepared ahead of sentencing. Chairman of the bench, Faye Gilbert, said that Lee lived in a bizarre world, and the word bizarre was used on more than one occasion. I a bird fetish is crazy. I have to say that as an experienced magistrate, it's one of the most unusual cases I've ever come across. There are people that try to get sexual gratification from animals, but not many cases where it involves a bird. The judge has allowed the defence solicitor to prepare a psychiatric report and he's due to be <laughs> sentenced today, if not tomorrow. So I'll definitely keep you updated on that story. That's wild. And I really want to hear what viewers have to say. Please don't That's forget wild. to follow on social media. All the Bird relations is crazy. TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn your post on God.